It's been the biggest conversation since the year began, school fees. Parents have to cough up huge sums of money for the awards fees while simultaneously battling with the rising cost of living generally. These private schools equally face in the hard economic times like parents have justified their increments. But what role does the National School Inspectorate Authority play in this situation? I've been following up with its deputy director. We are new organization. The airline that is supposed to really activate most of our uh, mandates has not been, I mean, passed in parliament. Mm -hmm. And we are hoping that very soon, by second quarter, the airline will be passed. Then we will have the full backing of the law to do certain things. But we are saying that now that the, the airline is not passed, we, we also have the moral duty. Remember that our core responsibility is to protect the the, the actor who is in the middle of our education system, that is the child, the student. That is what we are here to protect. And then in protecting them, anything that will take them out of school, we have full control over it. And although the inspectorate is still in the process of amending their act to give them power to regulate fees, it is in the meantime serving as a mediator between parents and school authorities. The Inspector General of Schools, Dr. Hida Ampedu, met uh, some of the schools and then the, the parent association. And it was a fantastic discussion. They were able to arrive at a consensus that look, this is the amount you want to charge. Parents are complaining. Why don't we come to a mere consensus? You are proposing about 45% increment. We arrived at an average of 20, 25% thereabout. School owners or proprietors should be able to, I mean, disaggregate the tuition fee from other charges. For example, the, the child is supposed to pay for uniforms. So they segregate that from the school fees. So that if the child should pay at least 70% of the fees, then he or she should be in school. For now, parents would have to bear the brunt of choosing to educate their kids in private schools they feel would provide quality education for them. Judith Awachitando, TV3 News.